hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time of stopping by hello hi you are welcome <laughs> please consider subscribing to my channel it's nice meeting you to my old subscribers i say thank you very much for all your support so far i really appreciate it and today's video will be making this simple gown with organza sleeve for our princesses today and if something that you are interested in please watch and watch to the end and i will see you at the end of the video So for this style, I'll be cutting my back and my front. So for this style, I'll be cutting the back and the front separately. And for this folding, I added extra inches for it for me to slant it at the back at the down part. And what I just marked now is my is to mark out the label on the Ankara fabric. I'm using an Ankara fabric, and this style is for six years old. So I'm going to go ahead and mark my my length, my full length. But because I'm going to be adding um, um, extra pleats at the damp the fabric, I'm going to deduct the measurement, the two inches from my total measurement. Then add one inch allowance for the joining of the pleats and also for the joining of the shoulder. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So for the extra allowance I added by the side, I added about 10 inches or you can add as much as you want. So for my neckline, I went in down by 3 inches and for the width, I did 2.5 inches and I'm going to give it a curve for a round neck. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my shoulder measurement which is 6 inches divided by 12 inches divided by 2 then I added half inch allowance for joining and then I went down by 6.5 inches because it's not a fitted gown that's why I added extra half inch to my shoulder and uh, to my um, armhole line then I'm going to go down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope and I'll connect it to my neckline Then at my armhole line, I'm going to go ahead and take my bust measurement plus 1 inch for ease and then 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. Then I'm going to slant it all the way from that bust point to where the gown ends. And that's all for the front part. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button. Do not leave today without subscribing, please. Thank you very much. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share to my family, to your family and friends. And while marking this, I forgot to cut my neck, my armhole. So I used my scissors to cut it, but I think it's not perfect. I'm going to cut this. The I'm going to recut it afterward. So for the back one, I'm going to the reason why I didn't cut it cut the back and the front together is because i want to flip my the front one over to the other side but if you're using an ankara that have a pattern i don't think you can do this so because i have this side wider just where i just i just showed you and the other one um um lesser i have lesser fabric that that's why i flipped it over and another reason for it is because my ankara doesn't have a, a pattern it's just a flowered one but if you have a pattern ankara you can't do this it's going to um scatter the um, the pattern on the on the style so i'm going to go ahead so the next thing i did is to mark my neckline the starting point and then mark one inch down for my back neckline and that's all for my back body and remember that i added one inch allowance for my zipper and i went ahead to cut it out so this place i'm just showing you guys is going to have a sharp edge if you leave it like that so for this i'm going to go up by one inch but if i'm not going to attach anything to this i'm going to go up by two inches so i'm marked one inch and then i'm going to slant it to meet the center of the fabric so onto the sewing tutorial the next first thing i'm going to do is 
first thing i'm going to do is to arrange the front and the back and um, front facing front and i'm going to go ahead and stitch down my shoulder And this is it after I was done stitching my shoulder. The next thing I'm going to do is to get this fabric bias of width of um, 1.5 inches and for the length is as long as your neckline. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to turn my neckline. And for this I, uh, I folded the fabric into two and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it down on the first part. Just like I'm showing you guys. So I'm going to stitch it out down from one end to right end and then flip it over to cover the rough edges and then stitch it down. So we are going to go ahead and cut our sleeve and remember this is going to be um, kind of a big sleeve not a fitted sleeve so i'm going to fold my fabric into four i'm cutting the two sleeves together and my so what i have here is the double of my rounds i have the double of my round sleeve if my round sleeve is 10 inches i doubled it to get to be 20 inches so i folded 10 inches on a fold so for this i went down by three inches and i'm going to go ahead and then make a curve to, um like s just like I've showed you guys on this in this video. But if you have a French curve, you can use that to connect this line. And then for the lower round sleeve, I'm not going to um, use my round sleeve measurement there. I just marked it straight because I'm going to add an elastic there. And the next thing I'm going to do is to fold the down part of the sleeve. Um, while folding it, bear in mind that you're going to add elastic into it. So I'm going to make a big fold there. And I'll do the same thing for the other sleeve. And this is it. After I was done folding, I'm going to go ahead and, and insert my elastic. And for my elastic, I do not have the small one. So the big one I have, I'm going to go ahead and divide it into two so that it can fit into the into the hole. Then I'm going to use my safety pin, attach it to it, and then pass it through the to through the sleeve. When this half side have gotten to the end, I'm going to stitch it down, then pull it out from the other side and then stitch the other side down. And this is it after I was done with the two sleeves. The next thing I'm going to do is to attach this to the body. And for this, I'm going to um, place this front facing front. And then I'm going to pin all the way from the armhole area, pin it towards the shoulder area. And I'll be leaving a little bit of space at the shoulder area. And the remaining space and the excess of the of the sleeve, I'm going to go ahead and gather it at that place and then stitch all the way from one side to the other. And this is it after I was done with it. The two flay. If yours is coming out to the organza side, you can top stitch it or you can use your iron to iron it down. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to arrange the front and the fabric, the front and the back together, take out my zipper allowance, and then stitch from one side with my allowance to the other side from the sleeve to where the gown ends. So this is it after stitching it down and before stitching it down if you want to add your pocket i think that's the right time to add your pocket so i'm going to go ahead and measure the down part of the um the um the gun whatever i got i is that is what i'm going to use to cut out the length of the 
uh, of the material i'm going to use to plate and for this i is five inches by the the length of your of your the double of your length or triple or you can just get got get your fabric as much as you can if there's any excess you can just cut it out so i'm going to first of all stitch the zipper allowance then i'll start making my my please when i got to my machine for sewing machine i made a bigger stitch a bigger plate just like i'm showing you guys but it's just the same pattern and this is it after i was done stitching it down So the next thing I'm going to do is to place the two um, zipper allowance together, then close it and attach my zip. And that's all for this tie. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do not leave today without subscribing. Thank you very much for subscribing. And share my videos too <laughs> thank you and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching too bye, -bye.